Welcome everybody. Episode three of Ten Minute Tuesdays with Second Tyler. Thanks for joining. If you haven't already, like, share, subscribe, do all the stuff that people do with content. <laughs> uh, we have here today Melissa Sledge. Melissa Sledge is a senior project manager at Lovelytics. Appreciate you for joining on. Thank you so much for taking some time out of your day. We really appreciate you. Absolutely. Happy to be here. Appreciate it. All right. So, no to drill. Episode three, we're into it. So, let's go ahead and run down. Um, Melissa, introduce yourself. You know, just in- give us a quick introduction about yourself. A quick intro. So, uh, originally from Kansas City, I uh, went to college in Arizona. I'm a Sun Devil. Um, traveled around and uh, found my way to Atlanta about three years ago. So, Still learning the area, um, but certainly have no shortage of, of places to eat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. How are you liking Atlanta? Are you getting adjusted? I am getting adjusted. Yeah. Um, it's it's a it's a different vibe, but but it's fun. It's awesome, fun. awesome. Good deal. All right. So we know there's a journey, there's a start, talking about being from Arizona, many different jobs, many different things in the industry. So to date, what has been your least favorite job? Um, one of the first like big jobs I had outside of college or right after college was medical supply sales. And it sounds appealing. You're like, great, you can make big money. You're going to these hospitals. But like, in reality, I think it was before I accepted the fact that I'm an introvert. So the idea of like cosplaying as an extrovert just like doesn't work, especially in sales, like sales, you have to like be on it and like be very metric based. And me, I just wanted to like buy pastries and just talk to people. (laughs) (laughs) That did not work very well. (laughs) Wow. Wow. So one, I learned something new. I didn't know you're an introvert. You come off very extroverty in a conversation. So that's definitely something new that I learned um, too. (laughs) And then yeah, medical sales. I had friends that have done it and, and it's just like, it sounds appealing until, you know, some of the behind the scenes stuff comes out. <laughs> yeah, big the big egos. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Cool. Well, now that you've pivoted, you're not in medical sales anymore, senior project manager in data. You know, what really compelled you to get into data? You know, it was a space that I hadn't done yet. You know, I've worked in, you know, medical supply sales. I was in higher education for a long time. And I've worked in different aspects of, of tech, uh, specifically like RFID and tracking. But this was a space that I just hadn't explored yet and wanted to just expand my skills. Wow. Well, I'm so glad you're here. I definitely appreciate you working with you at Lovelytics and, you know, it's a tremendous asset. So with that, talked about the journey of starting out. Uh, what is, you know, one of your biggest failures that you had, you know, throughout your career and what did you learn from it and something that's transitional that, that you, you know, still pull from today? You know, I've given this some thought and I, I wouldn't consider it a failure. I would say that it's something that I regret and have like pivoted from. Um, and it's being mindful of who has access to you. Um, often in corporate spaces, we feel like we must be friends with everyone, but like everyone is not your friend. Yeah. Understanding how to finesse the corporate political landscape and understanding the difference between an actual friend and an acquaintance, um, but also pulling back from those relationships that you're you're seeing all the red flags, listen to the red flags yeah. and find a way to kind of slowly exit out of it. Yeah, oh my goodness, yeah. That, I think that could be another 10 minute episode just on that <laughs> <laughs> alone, yeah. just talking about the flags and everything. Oh yeah, definitely learned that lesson as well. Um, wow, so one lesson, so another thing on that, we talk about lessons and talk about the journey. You know, what's one lesson that that you have learned that your job has taught you that you think everybody should learn at some point in your life? I think it's important for you to remember that your priority is you. And I encourage people to not betray themselves or self-sabotage for the sake of corporate life and corporate relationships. At the end of the day, you are there for a skill and you're being paid for said skill. But also, if the writing is on the wall or you're no longer getting what you need from that company, you should certainly exercise your options and realize that you are valuable, you you are an asset, but do not, don't do anything at the expense of yourself that you later in life will regret having done for a company or an organization. Yeah, totally agree with that 100%. I, I wish I had learned that lesson 
earlier Cause... on in my career of, <laughs> of you know how truly you are an asset to the organization whether it's is work or uh nonprofit or whatever you're serving like you're the asset of where you're at like you, you should and understand that you. yeah and but if you get to a point where you're like i i don't like this anymore like yeah. consider your other options wow that's awesome awesome all right so one piece of advice for someone who's just starting out in their career if you had to give one piece of advice for somebody what would it be i would say be aware of where you are in your career like there are different phases so if you are first starting out like out of school or like a junior level employee like really use that time to expand all your skills to learn as much as you can if there are new opportunities and new subject areas say yes say yes to observe say yes to to learn leverage the people in your in your immediate unit or within your company to continue to absorb like a sponge and then from there, in the next phase of your career, like, how do you apply that and demonstrate that not only do you have that skill, but you know what to do with it? Yeah. So just be mindful of what part of the process you're in. Yeah, that, that's so good. That's so good. Because I think I've seen people who did not say no, and they're stuck, right? They were pigeonholed in it. And then I've seen people who said yes to things, and then when they got in it, like, I don't like this, right? But yeah. because you said yes, like that's the only way you know if there's something that you do or don't like. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. yeah, definitely curiosity. But yeah, I, I love the perspective of of understanding where you're at in your journey. And like, if you're you know, say a junior, a junior analyst, uh, don't come in with a VP of of analytics uh, <laughs> expectations. Like you know, there's there's a process to to get to where you're gonna go. Uh, awesome. All right. Uh, final question. So tell me about any of the most influential people in your life. You know, my parents, they are the funniest, most giving people that I've ever met. Like they're amazing individually, but they're also amazing as a pair. So having that support has been transformative. Um, also, I my my third person which always surprises people is actually martha stewart really so, yeah so surprise me so yeah <laughs> <laughs> i discovered martha stewart when i was like in middle school and middle school is awkward and you're like trying to find your footing socially and for me it was like i had big thoughts i had big dreams and i was introduced to martha and i was like oh my gosh she gets it like she's a woman that goes after what she wants like she's got a plan she's got a vision like we are pursuing that vision and I just kind of connected with that logic and that example of female entrepreneurship. And to this day, I'm just still a fan. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so we'll see. Wow. I learned something new. I had no idea my Stuart fan. So now every time I see on her magazine or something, I'm yes, like Melissa. Me. So, yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining. I always learn a lot and I enjoy connecting with different people. So thank you for joining and hopping on. Um, appreciate you taking time out and to everybody else. I don't know. I don't know how to close this. I'll edit this part out. But thanks everybody for joining in and y'all have a great day. <laughs>